Kate Miller, Kate Miller Fortune of Galair. The old Irish greeting to the 38th running of the Eurovision Song Contest. Somebody said it's more of a Grand National than a Derby in 1993. With 25 runners, for the first time, there was a preliminary concert or contest held in Ljubljana, and the three qualifiers, all from the former Yugoslavia, are here. That's Bosnia Herzegovina, Croatia, and Slovenia. And we're starting appropriately with a, a Celtic myth, according to Irish myth, Ochi, the sun god. It's a great name for a sun god. Paces across the heavens in the form of a horse each day. And Ochi was in love with the beautiful Etain, she of the enchanting voice who caused the land to flower. She was transformed into a butterfly and blown away by the wind. I've always wanted to do this kind of stuff. There she goes now. Her radiance dazzled him, and he searched long and sadly for her, clearing plains and leveling forests. But all in vain. Rocks and trees in the still cold morning, kissed by departing mist they wake. Life stirs in the verdant valley. You, white steed, begin your race. Well, it is coming from Ireland this year. Okay, the sun god. And now the mist's clear, and we have scenic views of the southwest coast of Ireland, because the Irish, no more than anybody else, are not going to miss a chance to publicize the beauty of their land. The wonderful Atlantic coast of West Cork, South Kerry. There are the beautiful views of the justly famous Killarney, and over the Coravara Mountain, and down into the plains of North Cork and the little town of Mill Street all 1500 inhabitants of it just a street with a lot of houses on either side which is the sinusure of all eyes in Europe tonight and the focal point the equestrian center of Mill Street where this contest is being held playing the renowned Irish Illin Pipe, Davy Spillane. <laughs> and that little musical interview serves as a bridge to welcome the presenter who's now coming from what looks like some alien craft at the back of the stage. Her name is Vanula Sweeney. And she's 28 years of age, she's from Belfast, and she will address all of you in three languages, Gaelic, French, and of course, the main language of communication, English. Nerve-wracking job for her, but I'm sure she'll do it brilliantly. Ladies and gentlemen, Davy Spillan. A hishi, a ruinusla, a gazawinch in the horpa, three head million folcher of Galer, Gushrad and Willen, Igonde, Harkin. Shin folcher creel, Riv Gokdina, a yenin and quinil blintel shop. Kush more broad, Darren August RTE, our Golot Notion to Krilta, Garantia Aton Kamortis and Lena. Bonsoir, et bienvenue à Vutiski Ragade, Erteus ce soir, à l'occasion du 38e concours de l'Eurovision. Les frontières de l'Europe disparaissent, cela nous rapproche tous, chaque jour nous nous connaissons mieux. Et nous espérons que cette soirée vous donnera envie de venir apprécier l'Irlande. Vous ne serez pas déçus, notre hospitalité est légendaire et nos paysages spectaculaires. Oudemor Morte Shagan Arnairoch Dagazar Goldtour Orsa, Octomwidge Fos Fisrock, Fi Holtour Nationale, Gohorahi Eid, Shudatonish Einthahil Lins in Europe. Falsche, her left marshin, reef holti, or the tirishin and shahnocht, the south, I want us in gul, August and spree. The traditional greeting to visitors coming to Ireland is Cade Mila Falsche, a hundred thousand welcomes. 
but even that extravagant greeting is inadequate for this colossal event, the 38th Eurovision Song Contest and the biggest. To welcome each and every viewer, I should say 300 million welcomes. There are now 62 companies in the European Broadcasting Union. Radio Televish Erin is one of them and proud to produce this very special show. Our orchestra this evening is the RTE Concert Orchestra leader, Alan Smale, and our conductor, making this his 21st Eurovision appearance, Noel Keelehan. Now, the countries of Europe have forged close economic and cultural links through the EC, particularly in this, the first year of the European single market, a market made up of over 350 million European citizens. We welcome them and all the other millions of viewers from the rest of Europe and around the world. Yes, the Eurovision Song Contest is growing bigger, and this year we offer a special welcome to three new states, Slovenia, Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina. has hosted the Eurovision Song Contest on three previous occasions, on each occasion staging the show in our capital city, Dublin. Tonight, we're not in the capital of Ireland, but in what could be called the heart of Ireland, a tranquil valley ringed by mountains in the southwest of this island, in the town of Mill Street in County Cork. So, how does a small rural community make out within a larger community of 350 million Europeans? The answer is pretty well. About 1,500 people live in Mill Street, but they've grown accustomed to visitors since the building of the Equestrian Centre, that each year sees the cream of Europe's show-jumping talent compete here in the Green Glens Arena. We have turned that arena into a stage, and for the next three hours, this little farming town is the broadcasting centre of Europe. And for most of the week, the biggest and best party many will be unable to remember. <laughs> there you are, an average day in Mill Street. A couple of sword swallowers and a fellow juggling with fire. Now this year, just as a matter of interest, the interest won't only be centred on the winning song because there's a strong suggestion that the bottom six songs may well be relegated next year. So it'll be important to keep your eye on the bottom of the score sheet as well as the top. The betting has Ireland as the favourites, but then the, the bookies are Irish. The Swedes and then the French, and Croatia is well thought of, so is Malta. Here's for Nula Sweeney yes. again. It's been a hectic week for all those attending this, the biggest ever Eurovision Song Contest. 25 countries are competing for the Grand Prix, which goes to the writer of the winning song. There are 21 pages of rules to ensure the fairness of the competition. We've read them all carefully. In accordance with those rules, the order of appearance has been decided by a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor of opening the 38th Eurovision Song Contest goes to Italy. Uh, it'll be a while before you see Fanula Sweeney again because each song is going to be introduced by a little postcard, as it were. And this is the Italian one. They're going across to a place called Waterford Castle. You take a ferry across the river shore and this marvellous castle of the Fitzgeralds. This is en Enrico Ruggeri, who wrote the music and is going to perform it for Italy. It's always tough to come on first. The lovely surrounds, the restful surrounds of Waterford Castle, a far cry from the, the stressful Mill Street Equestrian Centre where all this is going to happen. The Italian song is called Sole d'Europa, Sun over Europe. They're enjoying the food and drink. Day. What a fantastic day. Good food. 
Vi var leder. Sitt där och där till ljus av video kort. The conductor Vittorio Cosma. They got dressed up for this, the Italians. They are absolutely nothing without a pair of leather trousers in Italy these days. Corrono in macchina, giocano a prendersi lungo una strada bagnata dai bar. Giocano a vivere, ma si consumano e i giorni non cambiano mai. E la prima luce arriva là dalla periferia e piccole case li portano via e i sogni non cambiano mai. Sbrigati il sole, fatti sentire, sparano ancora ma aspettano te. Posaci un raggio sul cuore se scopri dov'è, sorgi per me. Sali con me, scaldami ancora Non si conoscono, però si assomigliano E i giorni non cambiano mai Se ti prendono la mano, cercano la compagnia Ma il vento e la guerra li portano via Ma i sogni non cambiano mai Svegliati il sole, fatti sentire, oggi nessuno domanda di te. Copri di luce l'Europa, ricordi dov'è, sorgi per me, sali con me, scaldami ancora. Cambiano divisa e colore. Ma le anime stanche aspettano il sole e dicono che verrà, credono che verrà. the first song in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. And of course, if you're wondering where Sonia is, the UK entry has been drawn 19. 25 songs taking part. This will be the Turkish entry at song number two. And there, be taken to the delights of Loch Koran and Park Nasilla, which is on the estuary of the Kenmare River, and shown the finer points of casting. Turkish entry is going to be sung by Burak Aydosh, who also wrote the words and the music, and its title is Esmer Yarim, My Brunette, My Love. I wonder how long they had to sit out in the boat before they got that. There it is. There's a lot of fish eaten around here. You'd think they'd drink a bottle of stout, wouldn't you? There's that lovely hotel on the estuary of the Kenmare River. You can see this spectacular set. And look out when you hear this. Look out for George Michael on the guitar.
running tremendously Turkish about that. <laughs> it's very hard. Ian, here's the T-shirt, Prime Minister of Ireland, Albert Reynolds. Among the three and a half thousand or so people that are in here tonight, the Mill Street Equestrian Centre. The German entry is next, and they're on the Shannon, the River Shannon. Longest river, contains the largest area of inland waters in the islands of the western coast of Europe. Plenty of space. Rises in County Cavan in the North Midlands and flows southwards uh, through Limerick to the Atlantic. It's navigable for 220 kilometers. The Germans are represented by Münchener Freiheit, who had that big hit in 87 with Keeping the Dream Alive, which is a terrific record. And uh, the composer and the lyricist of the German song is Stefan Zauner. And there you are, you can't go anywhere in Ireland without getting deafened by a tin whistle and a, and a fiddle. Feel zu weit is the German song, and there, the national fish of Ireland, the prawn. And the national drink? No, it's not the Guinness, this, the Irish coffee. Feel zu weit is translated as far away. Münchener Freiheit are all in white. And it's the German entry, and the conductor is the right side. Norbert down. Some of the better performers you'll hear here tonight. That's Münchener Freiheit from Germany. I don't think they have a winner there. As I say, the betting has Ireland in the lead. Uh, the UK entry is at 9 to 1 at the moment, but those are the Irish bookies. Uh, this is the Swiss entry, and it will be sung by Annie Cotton, Dots Girl. Annie Cotton from Quebec. Uh, 
she's going to sing it. And the writer of the music is Christophe Duke. The lyricist Jean-Jacques Aigli. It's Moi Tout Simplement, quite simply me. Now they've taken this girl out to the Skelligs, which rise like sharks' teeth off the rugged coast of County Kerry in the southwest of Ireland. Hello. <laughs> nice to get a response like that. Pretty small for a cruise ship. She'll find out about the island's history and its natural life. She's only 17, Annie. And the Skelligs have been there. It was a place of pilgrimage for centuries. That's Mark Sorrentino, who's the conductor. Uh, Annie's in this little black number she just sort of flung on. And another one who's taken a lot of trouble with her hair. Moi tu simplement, the Swiss entry. Vous, messieurs, vendeurs de vent, vous les montreurs de chiens savants, magiciens, charmeurs de servants, One of the early favourites, Wat to Simplement, but uh, I don't think that's a winner either. The distinguished audience in this cavernous place, the set is fantastic here, taking on all the colours of the rainbow. The Danish entry. These are the Tommy Zebach band. Tommy is a curly-headed rascal who may remind you of Bobby Ball. Likes a drink, and indeed uh, we've been looked after awfully well by the Irish here. Hospitality flowing. We a little box of chocolates from the National Lottery and as much water as we can drink here. Yeah. I bet you wish you were here. Well, you are, really. Unter Sternerne Paar Himlen, Beneath the Stars in the Sky, is the Danish entry. Tommy Sebach wrote the music and the lyricist is Keld Hik. And they're at Middleton. This is where they, they make the Ishkebaha, the water of life. Mills, Maltings, corn stores, still houses, warehouses, kilns have all been restored, and there, the Irish, the famous Irish sweep. Worth a fortune. Ah, a drop of the crater. 
the hard stuff, the water of life. They'll be ready for anything now. The conductor is Henrik Krugskard, who's uh, conducted for Denmark before. It's the Tommy Seebach band for Denmark. Untersternerda a Himmlen. And they're singing in the round. I don't know, it's, it's probably a Danish thing. Jeg sætter mig på kanten af din sang Og du lærer til mig Og verden svinder ind til ingenting Når jeg ser på dig Du ligger ligesom ud så stille Og virker ubeskriveligt lille i mænd Dine mange sjove dyr Men i drømmelejen Finder vi to vej the crowd here in Mill Street in County Cork. I've given a, a round of applause to everything. There's the Danish clack. It's the Greek entry next at song six. As I've said, Sonia will be coming on for the UK at song number 19. 25 songs. It's going to be a long evening. Put kettle on, mother. The Greeks are in Kinsale. And the lady who's going to sing for them is Katarina Garbi. The composer is Demosthenes. It's Helena Cora Tu Fotos, Greece, land of light. Kinsale's a lovely, lovely place. Just outside Cork, on the sea, you can do shark fishing here, though. I don't think, I think they're, they're after something slightly smaller, though not much. You don't expect us to believe they caught those, do you? Kinsale is the gourmet capital of Ireland. Eat as many prawns as you like there. I could do with a prawn myself, yeah. No sign. You see, everywhere you go, there's people eating seafood. This could drive you mad. Now, this song is full of Eastern promise. And it's conducted by Haris Andreadis, who's conducted for Greece many times before. Now, keep an eye out for Katerina, because she looks like she's escaped from the Latin American section of Come Dancing.
Every song gets a great hand here, doesn't it? Great atmosphere. Marvellous high-tech set. There's the optical illusion of being all angles. And there's the DG of RTE. It's all initials here, the same as it is in the BBC. This is the Burren of Clare, Limestone Plateau. It's an extraordinary place where in the fissures and cracks you find all the plants that you can find in the Alps or on the steppes of Russia. And the young lady who's looking at it is a very young 19-year-old, Barbara. And she'll be singing for Belgium. She'll be singing Iman als Jai uh, in Flemish. Somebody Like You, it's translated as. Nice slow ballad. I like this song. I have a little sneaky regard for this. If she wins, of course, she'll be the, the seventh most famous Belgium after Jackie X and Eddie Merckx. This Burren is a landscape that fascinates walkers and naturists. It's all caves, and plants, and as you can see, a fair amount of water. The song is written by, well, the lyricist is Tobana, who is Barbara's father, and the composer is Mark Vliegen, and the conductor is Bert Kandries. Belgian entry, song seven, Barbara.
That's Barbara making a fashion statement for Belgium there. Tiny, tiny Swiss rolls for earrings. Or where they sardines. No one of them around here would probably prawns again. Ah, this is Mill Street. Again, it's very hard to walk out your door in Mill Street without being knocked down by a flamethrower or a fellow swallowing swords or a band. And Malta have been shown the sights of Mill Street. There they are, already haven't had a few in Mr. Dennehy's hostelry. They stayed in Mill Street Town for the sport of the crack of the locality. Look at that, the old pipes. Danny boy. No, that's not the dancing you require. The dancing you require is coming up in a minute now. This, yeah, that's the dancing now. And you have to be very careful that your knees do not come up too high for obvious reasons. And you must never smile. It's the Irish dancing. Set foie is the Maltese entry. This time, uh, the performer is William Manjon, who also wrote the song. That's Joseph Sabot, who's the conductor. And you'll see a goodly portion of Maltese leg in this. And this is well thought of this song. The boy gargles with water with the blades. And water as well, of course. Maltese entry. Oh, baby, when I'm along with you, you show your love for me. But I knew it was too good to be true Baby, baby, when I found out that you Were fooling around with my heart It hurt so much, baby, I'll explain How could you do it? I thought I The Maltese entry, I, I don't know why, but it reminded me of Macbeth. Yeah, they're all applauding. There's the Taoiseach again. And each country, of course, has its followers and its flags. The great atmosphere here in Mill Street. Bono me and general camaraderie and, and other French words. Iceland next. This is certainly probably the prettiest girl in the contest. But I'm old. Inga is her name, or Ingeborg Stefansdottir, the latest star to rise in the world of Atlantic rock music. The composer is Jon Kjell Seyset, and the lyricist is Fredrik Sturkison. Pa Vesta Svarud. Go on, argue with me. You'll know the answer it's translated as. And this little film is, of course, to uh, promote Irish fashion, and Irish clothes, and Irish textures and fabrics. 
you can't blame them once you get a chance flaunt it here's the girl herself and when next you see her she'll be in a, a slit skirt on the stage a comely ice maiden representing Iceland and she didn't get a prom the conductor is Jon Kjell Saisi Pa Vestesvarud big crowd here cheering for Iceland it's song number nine here it comes from Inga Nice. That's that's probably the best Icelandic entry. Yeah, most of the population of Reykjavik in their rooting. Great. Not bad at all. And I like. Austria is next, and that's song ten. And if you're beginning to flag now, you're never going to make it to the end. There's 25 songs in it this year. Don't forget, with the addition of Croatia, Bos Bosnia Herzegovina, and Slovenia. Now this handsome chap is Tony Vegas who's uh, singing for Austria. Maria Magdalena is the song. Uh, Tony's a Romany and he wears a, an earring to prove it. He's got five backing singers. Well, fine big strapping lads. Now, this is a, this is, he's been shown some pottery at Dingle. Gaelic speaking town, Dingle, which has preserved some of the best of the traditional culture of Ireland. This is wonderful pottery is made by the Dingle Potter, Louis Mulcahy. There you are. That didn't take long, did it? The composers are Christian Kolovitz and Johanna Berti, and the lyricist is Thomas Spitzer. Maria Magdalena, they're doing a bit of rehearsal here. Yeah, went awfully well. Hope it goes as well tonight. Porta Dorocht na Kaloiga, that says, which means carry your own pottery. Very nice. 
Christian Kolonovitz is the conductor. Great cheering going on here in Mill Street tonight. That's the Austrian entry. That's his family. And there's just a woman in the front there that feels like shouting. The Portuguese entry is called A Cidade Ate Serdia, Nightfall in the City. It'll be sung by Annabella. She divides her time between music and the study of psychology. The composers are Pedro Abrantes, Marco Callas and Paolo da Costa. Now this young lady are visiting, is visiting the hallowed grounds of University College Cork, learning Irish. Hello, how are you? Oh, fine. That's good. Will you try the first one? Okay. Dear rich, dear rich, God be with you. How are you? That's the answer. When anybody says to you in Ireland, how are you, you say, I'm hungry. You'd never be hungry down here with all the prawns. Now this is a surprise. There, into the old Lisbon. Very nice. No sign of Lisbon in there, says she. It's the Portuguese entry, it's song 11. Conductor is Armindo Neves. A cidade até serdia. Nightfall in the city.
There's a bonny Portuguese goal. <laughs> it's a very nice round of applause in this huge hall. With three and a half thousand people here. Yes. Fair amount of partiality and why not? It'll be quite a while before we have the scores, of course, because there's 25 teams taking part. And don't forget, possibly for the first time, uh, the bottom six could well be relegated this year. Because 25 is possibly too many songs to have in this contest. This is the 12th one. It's uh, highly regarded. We're running into the three songs that are the hot favourites, with the Irish bookies at least. That's France, Sweden and Ireland. This is the gentleman who's singing it, romantic looking garçon. And his name is Patrick Fiori. He's from Cargese in Corsica. And the song is called Mama Corsica. The composer of the words and the music is Francois Valéry. And they've been taking out to Baltimore and West Cork. Out sailing on the Soracha. This is the conductor, Christian Cravero. Uh, Mama Corsica, one of the favourites for this year's Eurovision. UK song coming up at number 19. This is number 12. Que fruit un peu de pain pour les amis qui ont faim. Mama Corsica. Elle a le cœur grand comme le ciel. Elle est sincère comme elle est belle. Mama Corsica. Elle est comme ces vieilles dames en noir qui portent en elle leur histoire. Mama Corsica. Il paraît même que le bon Dieu, il en était fou amoureux en la dessinant de ses doigts. Mama Corsica, stasera gante moue cosu per te. Mama Corsica, au nom de de la maison Mama Corsica Elle sourit quand on pense à elle Elle aime bien qu'on lui soit fidèle Mama Corsica N'allez pas croire tout ce que l'on dit Au fond c'est elle qui nous unit Mama Corsica Tant qu'il y ait des différences Elle ne fait pas de préférence tous ses enfants le sang corse Mama Corsica Sta zera gante Mui corso per te Mama Corsica Au nom de l'amour Ce soir c'est toi la terre d'amitié Mama Corsica Mama Corsica Mama Corsica I bet that gets the biggest hand in the hall so far. That's for me anyway, that's the best song so far. Catchy one for France. We haven't won it for a long time. Almost as long as us. And Mama Corsica. That's very good there. Patrick Fiori for France. Uh, then, singing for Sweden, Nick Faldo. Plays a good game of golf as well. This is, of course, the Kalani Golf Club. Beautiful setting. Oh, you're expected to play golf and look at that scenery at the same time. I hope nobody from the RNA is looking at this. Because, really, those shots. Peter Alice is going to have to leave, take an early bath after that. Swedish entry is called Eloise, and another big favourite. It's actually the second favourite with the Irish bookies. 
And the interpreters are Arvin Garna, who you can see here, and they can play a bit. Big game in Sweden. The composer is Lasse Hörn, the lyricist is Gert Lengstrand. Here they are. This is Kurt Erik Hörnqvist conducting the RT Concert Orchestra. And these boys remind me of Herries, who won for Sweden in Little Gold Boots, do you remember, in 1984, with Diggy Lou, Diggy Lay. This is Eloise. Samla mina tankar i ensamhet innan jag går ut Trodde jag var smart när jag gjorde slut Aha Letar efter dig och nu står jag här utanför din dörr När jag nu ringer på, öppnar du då Eller vill du att jag Louise, very highly rated by the Irish tough accountants. And the crowd applauding lustily, but they're applauding everything. They're having a great time. The Irish entry next, of course, they won it last year with Linda Martin. And uh, the young lady who's singing for Ireland is Neve Kavanagh. She's 25. There she is. She's from Dublin. She works in a bank. And um, there was an ad in the Irish Times this morning from Allied Irish Banks. And it said, good luck tonight, Neve, and take Monday off. <laughs> it's In Your Eyes, the Irish song, and it's the favourite. And once again, Neve showing off Irish textures, Irish colours, Irish fashions, on a deserted beach like nearly all the beaches in County Donegal which is that Irish geographical anomaly, a part of the Republic of Ireland that's more northerly than Northern Ireland. This is Noel Keelan conducting the concert orchestra. The Irish entry, this could win it. Aubergine is the Irish colour this year. And naturally the home crowd are giving it a, a good cheering on. myself an island, try to take my heart and hide. I built a wall around me, afraid of letting go. But suddenly an open door I never saw.
Take a good one to beat that, isn't it? Good modern song, very well sung. In your eyes, that's the favourite. Jimmy Walsh wrote it. Leave Camden sung it. It's the Kalani Races, lads. There we were. Look at that. Oh, what's John Burt doing at the Kalani Races? And they're all up and ready. At in Irish and in Ireland, there's nothing as special as the horse. And nothing as attractive as a flutter. And these are the Luxembourgeois entry who have been invited along to lose their money. And the Modern Times is, uh, are singing for Luxembourg. That's Simone Weiss and uh, Jimmy Martin. Jimmy Martin also had a hand in writing the song with Patrick Hippert. It's called uh, Donne-moi une chance de te dire, which is freely translated as Heaven Only Knows. Don't tell me you won. Well, the excitement. Look at that. Five points. Yes, great. They love the horses here. Now, this is another chap who appears to be tonsorially challenged. And, um, yes, the old ginger ale. The conductor is Francis Goya for Luxembourg, who have a great record in this contest. Just keep an eye out for the lady in red playing the guitar. Luxembourg, song 15. Time.
Yeah, but, but not a winner, I'd say, for Luxembourg. Not this time. They've won five times. Good Lord, there I am. Hello, Mother. Too late. That's a nice way to come here, isn't it? Fast asleep. It's the first time that Slovenia have taken part. And their song 16, and they're receiving a traditional Irish welcome at Cork Airport. If you ever you come to Ireland, or Cork particularly, you'll find yourself surrounded by these bat-like figures who are really trying to say to you, go back where you came from. Slovenia, along with uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina and Croatia, taking part for the first time. As I say, took part in a preliminary contest in Ljubljana and qualified. And their song is called Tich de Sevan Dan. The performers are the Enix Band and the uh, composer is Sole Moretti, the lyricist is Tomasz Kosec. A quiet rainy day, which is very suitable for this part of the country, I can tell you. Oh, that's a nice thing to do with an Irish strawberry. This is Jose Prucek, who's the conductor. And watch out for the, the backing singers, because I, I think they got dressed in the dark. Set the way it changes colour. Terrific. And with Danny Baker there singing for Slovenia. And the multicoloured crowd. Good to see Slovenia here. As indeed the, I'm sure there'll be a special welcome for Bosnia and Croatia. What's this, lads? It's the Finnish entry. Song number 17. And uh, they have been exposed to one of the cruelest tortures known to Ireland. You attend a reading or an acting of a James of James Joyce's Ulysses, and then you get to ride in a trap and around by the coast. 
This is the coast near Dublin, and that's Davy Burns. Many, many is the drink I had in there, along with James Joyce and uh, Brendan Behan. It's in common with everybody else in Ireland. I knew them personally. This is the Finnish entry, going to be sung by Katri Helena. Matti Burton and Jukka Saarinen wrote it. The conductor is Oli Avenlati. Tuleluo, come to me. And I'm particularly pleased about this because it's good to see the old Melodian making a bit of a comeback. Finish entry, song 17. Tuleluo, ole pouta pilki taiva. Tuleluo, ole kaste aamun maa. Tuleluo, tule noustaan ilman laivaa. Tule luo, tule juostaan maailmaan. Tule luo, tule hiljaa, tule salaa. Tule luo, tumman iltaan talo tuu. Tule luo, kaunein liekki hetken palaa. Tule luo, tule luo. Finish entry. That's the lady. Katri Helena. Oh, jolly Finn. After that. They know how to enjoy themselves. Wave a flag or two. There's the man, Noel C. Duggan, on the left there. This is his equestrian centre, and he's jolly proud of it. And he's right to be. This is Glenda Locke. And the Wicklow Way. And the Bosnia and Herzegovina entry. Good to see them here. They'll receive a special round of applause. It is, they've come all the way from Bosnia and they made them walk in the rain in a graveyard. Glendalock is one of the earliest monastic settlements in Ireland. St. Kevin's Church and his bed. They're called Fazla. The composer is Dino Melin. The lyricists are Farudin Pechicoza and Dino Melin. And we think, when you see them on stage, they're actually the best-dressed group in the entire contest, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Now, the conductor didn't make the plane. They had to make a run for the plane to get here. The conductor didn't make it. They thought it was too dangerous. So Noel Keelahan is conducting, that's the Irish conductor, conducting for Bosnia. Svabol Svijeta, the pain of the whole world. And uh, this does have a message for the world and Bosnia.
naći put, put do svemira, ali ti mogu ovu pjesmu poslati, da znaš da sam živ ljubavi. Kad se noća s namom licu suze zalede, neću da ti da me strah sa sobom povede, ja još imam snage sam da pobjedim, al da smo zajedno, lakše je bilo mi. Sva bol svijeta je noća su u Bosni, ostaje da bolu prkosi. Kad se noća s namom licu suze zalede, neću da ti da me strah sa sobom povede. Ko će mjesto mene stražu čuvati, da se nikada zlo ne ponovi. Sva bol svijeta je noća su u Bosni, ostaje da bol uprko svi. Well, that deserves to get the biggest roar of the night. The pain of the whole world in Bosnia tonight, as I that's translated. Starboard Fieta. And now, at song number 19, there's 25 countries competing. Remember, song 19 is the United Kingdom's song, As Only She Can, by Sonia. The composers are Dean Collinson and Red. You saw their song, Win the Song for Europe. They've taken Sonia to the Japanese gardens in Kildare, not very far from Dublin. She likes them. Rhododendrons, azaleas, and lovely horses in the national stud. This foal arrived in the last few days, and Sonia has named it Mill Street. That's a good luck charm, very suitable. The song, of course, that she's going to sing is Better the Devil You Know. Sonia was born in Liverpool by the age of 13, decided to become a singer at 17, her first single, Top the Charts. Her album, Everybody Knows, sold half a million copies in 1990. This is Nigel White, who's long been associated with Andrew Lloyd Webber. He's conducting for the United Kingdom entry. Here she comes, Sonia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better the devil you know.
that should get all the cheers. Terrific performance. She's been building to that all week. She's given it everything. Stay with us with the scoring. That's song number 19. There's... Arithmetic was never my biggest strength. 25 songs altogether. So we'll just see how Sonia does and keep, keep the old fingers crossed for her. I think she'll do well. Netherlands. Het wil nog niet zo lukken. Translated as peace. And the performer is Ruth Chakot. That's her there. And she's in Connemara, the hound of the sea, in the west of Ireland. It's untamed, natural beauty. A bicycle is the best way to go if you have the tues for it. 5,000 acres making up the Connemara National Park. The composers of the Netherlands entry is, are Eric van Tijn and Jochem Flutsma. The lyricist is Hank Westbroek. It's horses and, and fish and, and drink, isn't it? And the odd bicycle. This is Heri van Hoof, who's conducted in the past many a time and off to the Netherlands. Now, uh, the young lady has been poured into something black for this. And this is a well thought of one. And I like the backing singers for this too. Peace from Holland. Zelfs de allerduurste auto kan niet zwemmen. En als het nacht is, heeft hij moeite om te remmen. Daarom is er met het asfalt iets gedaan. It's a great, I knew this would be well received in the hall and probably will do very well in the contest itself when the scoring starts and that's not too far away now. Why is there a lot of Dutch people in Ireland? No, there are, honestly. Right here. The Netherlands entry, Ruth Chakot. Now, this one is highly thought of as well. It's the Croatian entry and it's the first time obviously they've entered either. One of the bookies' favourites, this. There, there he is now in his little cap. 
and the lovely ladies of Croatia. The group are called Pot, which is translated as Road. The composers are Dorde Novkovic, Andrei Basha. Uh, that's the words and the music by both of them. The chorus of this song is in English. Don't ever cry, never say goodbye, my Croatian sky. It's a kind of a message as well in there. A code. Kilani National Park is where they were taken to. Lake and mountain scenery of Kilani, of course, is world renowned. Heaven's reflex. That's what they call it. How can you buy it? Somebody did buy it a while back. <laughs> Don't ever cry. Now, we're singing in Croatian, as I said, but the chorus will be in English. Andrej Basa is the conductor. We welcome Croatia to the Eurovision. entry and uh, it's a lovely song strange costumes and even stranger hairstyling a lot of applause here for obvious reasons for Croatia Slovenia and Bosnia Herzegovina Spain is next song 22 four to go a Spain song is called hombres men all men are messy and bad mannered children all men are so special that finally they look all the same. Feminists are going to vote for this in some numbers. You see, they're at it again. It's not the bronze, it's the oysters. Fish everywhere. And delicious it is around here. A long time to dinner if you're a commentator. The Spanish entry is called, as I've said, men. The performer is Eva Santa Maria. That's her. The composer is Carlos Toro. Wrote the words and the music. Eva comes from Andalucía brought up in southern Spain and she likes a bottle of stout I can tell you and if you watch this performance by the way that's Eduardo Leva the conductor watch this performance I think the stout has gone to everybody's head Naturaleza, viven dominados por su vanidad. Corre. 
todos los hombres son tan especiales que han conseguido ser todos iguales. Spokesman said in the House of Commons. Oh well, there you are. I bet that'll get a lot of votes, particularly from women. Hombres, that was called Hombre, España. Cyprus is next. This is song 23. Those are the boys. They put them among the animals. Kiriakos and Demos, Kiriakos in Bulakis, and Demos van Becky. They went down the farm, <laughs> located in the rolling hills of North Cork. They visited the Burns family farm. They've been involved in dairy for years. I thought you were being paid by the EC not to have any cattle. Yes, I wouldn't blame you at all. It's tough old work. The composer is Aristos Moschovakis, and the lyricist is Ravula Papalambriano. The other people get to go out and eat fish. These chaps get the gobeen. <laughs> the crowd liked that one. And of course, this is Cork Agricultural Community. Mis Tamatis, conductor George Theophanus. Don't stop, it's translated as. Cy Cyprus's answer to Wham. Kiriakos and Demos. Στη ζωή μας όλοι ερχόμαστε γυμνοί Ήδιο τέλος μας ορίζει και αρχή Μα είναι κάποιοι από εμάς Τη ζητιάνη της χαράς
estás mi stamata mi stamata for Cyprus as I said at the beginning in case you've just come in in the middle it's important to watch the scoring uh, not just for the winners this time because the may well be that this year the, the final six, the last six in the scoring, may well be relegated because 25 is probably too many songs to have in a contest. And, uh, absolutely. They're on the train, the Ehrenrod Ehren, new intercity executive train that goes along the old Ehrenrod, which is Irish for railway. This is the Israeli entry, song 24, the penultimate. I would say. The composer is Shaiki Paikov. Now, I've seen that name before, well, you wouldn't forget. And the lyricist is Yoram Taharlev. The group are the Shiru group. And they've been brought on a tour which tells of the famine and emigration, which is the great, has been the great curse of Ireland. And left a mark that still hasn't healed. Sing a song is the Israeli entry. It's a bit of a, a joke here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There they go, and this is the man. Amir Frolik is the conductor. Sleeves of an awful jacket, but Shiro dressed like refugees from a Christmas cake. Shiro and the mother uh, sing a song. Very nice. 
I thought that penis was being attacked by a Dalek there for a moment, but the moment passed. Now we're coming up to the final song. Song 25. Been a long evening, but jolly enjoyable, hasn't it? And we'll have the scoring shortly. Now this is the equestrian centre here at Millfield wearing its other hat, a major equestrian centre in the world. Many great jumping competitions, horse competition, and those, of course, are the, the changing boxes for the competitors. Everything laid on here. Silke Vige is 16, and she's going to be singing for Norway the final song. It's a gentle, terribly quiet song, and might get a, a lot of votes, or maybe none at all. She's riding uh, Mill Aron. A few hours to explore the countryside around this Eurovision village. Yeah, that's the sort of Cork accent now. It goes up and down. Yeah. Nice people here. Waterfalls. Horses. Mill Street is the starting point for the Cork Kerry Trail, which is a 160 kilometre trek through breathtaking landscape. Take about four or five days to explore it all by horse. Now, this uh, Norwegian song is composed by Bjorn Erik Vige. Who is Silke's father? Rolf Lovland is the conductor. Alle mine tanker, all my thoughts. The final song of this year's Eurovision. big in the hall, lovely gentle little song, more like a Portuguese or a French Provençal song. Might do well, Norway. That's it, lads, you've seen them all now. Don't rush off anywhere, though, because the high spot is the scoring. But I'd love that. Maybe it's just sort of joint applause for all 25 songs. So what did you think? 25 of our competing songs. And right across Europe, the national juries who will decide this year's winner are making their final deliberations. 25 juries who can vote for anyone except their own entry.
The acts are now enjoying some traditional County Cork hospitality and trying not to spill any of it. For them, this is the most nerve-wracking time. One person who knows exactly what they're feeling is the lady who went through it all last year when representing Ireland in Sweden. Her song won the hearts and votes of Europe and it's the reason we're all here in Mill Street this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, one of Ireland's best-loved singers, Linda Martin. I can answer that question without any problem because last year I went to Sweden with a terrific song written by a guy whose career in Eurovision is absolutely unmatched. For instance, in 1980 he sang the Shea Healy song What's Another Year and of course they won. Then in 1987 he was both singer and songwriter of Hold Me Now, another winner, and last year he wrote himself into Eurovision history with Why Me? But tonight, with a song specially written for the occasion, joined on stage by the combined efforts of the senior and junior members of the Cork School of Music and the children of Mill Street, ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome Johnny Logan. Try to drive. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Johnny Logan and friends. And while we were enjoying the music, the 25 international juries have concluded their deliberations. The voting procedure will be obvious as soon as we start, but in brief, each jury can award points from one to eight. They then award 10 points, and finally, a maximum of 12. In the event of a tie, the entry that has received the most number of 12 points will be deemed the winner. Now, there's a lot more fine print in the rule book, and we're pleased to welcome the official EBU scrutineer. He's the man who knows all the rules by heart, Christian Clausen. That's a new face among the scruties. Christian, looking determined. Where's Frank Neff? But you know, for as long as many of us can remember, the man who presided over the competition and kept a fatherly eye on the proceedings was Frank Neff. Frank. I should hope so. Ah, what's that wrong? Frank retired this year, and we welcome him to our audience in Mill Street tonight. Frank, we hope you'll now spend a little more time with us in Ireland. Will you keep your fingers crossed for me as I go to call in the first of our international juries? And the first jury we're going to is the jury in Rome, the Italian jury. Good evening, Rome. May we have your votes, please? Good evening, Milstein. Roma calling. You heard the result of the Italian jury. United Kingdom, one point. United Kingdom, one point. That's a good sign. Wyoming, First point for the United Al Kingdom. Three, two points. Excuse me, could you repeat that, please? Greece, two points. Greece, two points. Greece, deux points. Bosnia, Herzegovina, three points. Bosnia, Herzegovina, three points. I think Bosnia is bound to get the chair as it were, sympathy votes. Slovenia, four points. Slovenia, four points. Slovenia, quatre points. Spain, five points. Spain, five points. España, cinq points. Netherlands, six points. Netherlands, six points. Le Pays Bas, six points. Malta, seven points. Malta, seven points. Malte, sept points. Germany, eight points. Germany, eight points. Allemagne, huit points. Switzerland, ten points. Switzerland, ten points. Suisse, dix points. And Ireland? Weird are the ways of the international juries. I agree with the Irish voting, but some of the other, just a little bizarre. Ireland, 12 points. Ireland, 12 points. Thank you and good evening, Rome. We now move now to the next jury, which is the Turkish jury, based in Ankara. Good evening, Ankara. May we have your votes, please? Good evening, Mill Street. Dear Rich Pinola, here are the results of the Turkish jury. Ireland, one point. That's what it's all about. Ireland, Please. 12 one from point. one jury and Ireland, one from the next. Un point. Greece, two points. Greece, two points. Greece, two points. Finland, three points. Finland, three points. Finland, three points. Austria, four points. Austria, four points. Autriche, quatre points. Malta, five points. Malta, five points. Malta, cinq points. Netherlands, six points. Netherlands, six points. Pays-Bas, six points. France, Seven points. France, seven points. France, sept points. United Kingdom, eight points. United Kingdom, eight points. Royaume-Uni, huit points. Norway, ten points. 
Norway, 10 points. Norvège, 10 points. And finally, Bosnia at the governor, 12 points. Bosnia had the governor, 12 points. Well, they get more than sympathy votes. And this completes the results of the Turkish jury. Thank you, and a very good night, Mill Street. Thank you, good night. Bosnia in the lead. Now we go on to the next jury, With which Ireland is the German second jury, place, and they're based in Malta, Leipzig. Malta, Netherlands. Good evening, Leipzig. May we have your votes, please? Um. Hello, Mill Street. Good evening. Leipzig calling. Here are the results of the German jury. Portugal, one point. Portugal, one point. Portugal, un point. Greece, two points. Greece, two points. Grèce, deux points. Belgium, three points. Belgium, three points. Belgique, trois points. Malta, four points. Malta, four points. Malte, quatre points. Ireland, five points. Ireland, five points. Irlande, cinq points. United Kingdom, six points. United Kingdom, six points. Royaume-Uni, six points. Netherlands, seven points. The Netherlands, seven points. Pays-Bas, sept points. Sweden, eight points. Sweden, eight points. Suède, huit points. Norway, ten points. Norway, Norway is definitely points. the sleeper Norway, in this competition. And Switzerland, 12 points. And Switzerland, 12 points. Suisse, 12 points. As always at this point, with and the scores coming the in, the, the, the leadership Bye jumps up and down. Thank you. Switzerland Good night, in the Leipzig. lead. In I second think now place, we just take Norway, and then the and Netherlands, the of the, and then Ireland, uh, the, the countries and the United Norway. Kingdom so doing very, very well with 15 we points. We should be able to see that in the lead is Switzerland with 22 points. The singer is Annie Cotton. The song is Moi Tout Simplement, which is quite simply me. Behind that, Norway oh, with Dot 20 will be so points, proud, 19 points, she? the Netherlands, Ireland with 18 points, and Malta with 16 points. Now, je voudrais passer maintenant au jury suisse. Bonsoir, soir, Zurich. Puis-je voir vos votes, s'il vous plaît? Zurich, voici les résultats du vote du jury suisse. Italie, un point. Italie, un point. Italy, one point. Allemagne, deux points. Allemagne, deux points. Germany, two points. Croatie, trois points. Croatie, trois points. Croatia, three points. France, quatre points. France, quatre points. France, four points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. United Kingdom, five points. Espagne, six points. Espagne, six points. Spain, six points. Malte, sept points. Malte, sept points. Malta, seven points. Suède, huit points. Suède, huit points. Sweden, eight points. Norvège, dix points. Norvège, dix points. Norway, ten points. Et Irlande, huit points. Irlande. So that puts him up there with Norway. There's Shay Healy in the front of the Irish team. Here. He wrote the winner, the first winner for Johnny Irlande, Logan many years ago. Deux points, Ireland, 12 points. Et ceci termine le vote du jury suisse. Bonsoir, Mitch Street. Bonsoir, Zurich. Ireland, Norway, and then Malta. I'd like to say, first of all, that we have a tie for first position, I see on the scoreboard. In joint first position, Ireland and Norway, each with 30 points. But it's still early days yet. It's still early days yet. And we'll continue now with the voting. We'll That's move on now to the next Minister jury. We we'll go straight away to Copenhagen in Denmark. Good evening, Copenhagen. May early we have doors. your votes, please? It's early doors, yes. Good evening. Hoi. Hello, Mill Street. Copenhagen calling. Here comes the results of the deliberations of the Danish jury. Portugal, one point. Portugal, one point. Portugal, un point. Cyprus, two points. Cyprus, two points. Chypre, deux points. 
Germany, three points. Germany, three points. Allemagne, trois points. Iceland, four points. Iceland, four points. Iceland, quatre points. Malta, five points. Malta, five points. Malta, cinq points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. Sweden, seven points. Sweden, seven points. Suède, sept points. United Kingdom, eight points. United Kingdom, eight points. Royaume-Uni, huit points. Switzerland, ten points. Switzerland, ten points. Suisse, dix points. Who does the top and vote go to? France, twelve points. Oh, that's a and good France, song. France, twelve points. France, Seems wide points. open at this stage, doesn't that it? That completes the course of points of the Danish jury. One shout at Bruce. Goodbye, Slanche. Goodbye. To Greece now, the jury in Athens. Good evening. May we have your votes, please? still in the lead. Kaipera Potinacina. Iha Waera. Good evening, Mill Street. Athens calling. Here are the results of the Greek jury. Austria, one point. Austria, one point. Autriche, un point. Portugal, two points. Portugal, two points. Portugal, deux points. France, three points. France, three points. France, trois points. Iceland, four points. Iceland, four points. Iceland, quatre points. Malta, five points. Malta, five points. Malta, cinq points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. Switzerland, Seven points. Switzerland, seven points. Suisse, sept points. Finland, eight points. Finland, eight points. Finland, huit points. Cyprus, ten points. Cyprus, ten points. Chypre, dix points. And Norway, twelve points. Norway, oh, twelve point points. There. Norvège, douze points. This and is definitely the sleep of the Norwegian entry. Of the Greek jury. And it's now sharing Thank first you, place Athens, with Ireland, and, and then it's Switzerland. You. I think what we'll do now again is take a look at the leaderboard and see the positions and of the, the countries United at the Kingdom moment have as they 28 points. before going on to the next jury. They got none there from even. Greece. And we see that for joint first position, Ireland, Norway, each with 42 points. Just three points behind that, Switzerland in third place, Malta on 33 points, and the United Kingdom with 28. There you see, of course... Uh, our own Neve Kavanagh singing. Back now to the leaderboard, or rather my apologies, back now to the scoreboard and we'll go straight away to the next jury without delay. Of course it's still very early days yet and anything could happen. The jury in Belgium please. Good evening Brussels, may we have your votes please. Hello Mill Street, Brussels calling. Here are the results of the Belgian jury. Bosnia, Herzegovina, one point. Bosnia Herzegovina, one point. Bosnia Herzegovina, un point. Ireland, two points. Ireland, two points. This crowd Ireland, are going to be furious if they get less than eight points. Austria, three points. Austria, three points. Autriche, trois points. Croatia, four points. Croatia, four points. Croatia, quatre points. Spain, five points. Spain, five points. Espagne, cinq points. Norway, six points. Norway, six points. Norvège, six points. Netherlands, seven points. Netherlands, seven points. Pays-Bas, sept points. Switzerland, eight points. Switzerland, eight points. Suisse, huit points. Sweden, ten points. Sweden, ten points. Suède, dix points. United Kingdom, 12 points. That's the top United mark for the United Kingdom. 12 points. Wyoming, Makes it points. very close. Sonia, really pleased with herself with the backing night, singers. Thank you and a very good well, evening to Norway you. That means Norway are leaders by only on four points Jury, over Ireland. Is, well, Sorry, over Switzerland. Malta, but I think we're going to just by pass one over point. That the and then Ireland at 44. Jury. United Kingdom evening, doing well with 40 points. I'll try once again. Good evening, Reykjavik. May we have your votes, please? The weather the is Hello, Mr. Reykjavik calling. Thank you. 
either the results of the Icelandic jury. Turkey, one point. Turkey, one point. That's the first mark for Turkey. Turkey. Only Denmark, Luxembourg, Portugal, and Israel have nil points point so far. Portugal, two points. Portugal, two points. Ireland, three points. Ireland, three points. Ireland, three points. Switzerland, four points. Switzerland, four points. Suisse, four points. Finland, five points. Finland, five points. Finland, five points. Netherlands, six points. Netherlands, six points. Pays-Bas, six points. Sweden, seven points. Sweden, seven points. Suède, sept points. France, eight points. France, eight points. France, huit points. Norway, ten points. Norway, ten points. Norvège, dix points. And the United Kingdom. That's another 12 for the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, 12 points. The Wyoming going on strong now in second place and to Norway. Thank you. Thank you, and a very good evening to you, Reykjavik. I should, of course, say that uh, although we missed the Maltese jury, we will go back to them at the end of all the votes coming in. So they probably. The way it's shaping up at the moment, we'll actually have the casting vote in all of this. Okay, we can see that still in the lead, though, but not by very much, is Norway with 58 points. Straight away now to Vienna, the Austrian jury. Good evening, Vienna. May we have your votes, please? Yes, good evening, Bill Street. This is Vienna. Here are the results of the Austrian jury. Iceland, one point. Iceland, one point. Iceland, un point. Spain, two points. Spain, two points. Espagne, deux, deux points. The Netherlands, three points. Netherlands, three points. Pays-Bas, trois points. Malta, four points. Malta, four points. Malte, quatre points. Portugal, five points. Portugal, five points. Portugal, cinq points. Switzerland, six points. Switzerland, six points. Suisse, six points. France, seven points. France, seven points. France, sept points. Ireland, eight points. Ireland, eight points. Ireland, huit points. Sweden, ten points. Sweden, ten points. Suède, dix points. And finally, United Kingdom, twelve That's points. another one. United Kingdom, twelve points. Could this be it for Sonia? Douze points. And that Fantastic. The point the Austrian jury. Good night. Thank you, and a very good night to you. I think at this stage uh, we should really take well, a look at the leaderboard because at nine I'm finding to one, it very hard to work. Sonia was a very good bet. The United Kingdom are in the lead, very, uh, as you can see. Close race at the moment. There we have Sonia from the United Kingdom in first place at the moment with 64 points, followed by Norway, Switzerland, Ireland, and Sweden. Still a very close race. We go straight away now to the jury in Portugal. The Lisbon jury. Good evening, Lisbon. May we have your votes, please? Good evening, Mill Street. Lisbon calling. Here are the results of the Portuguese jury. Switzerland, one point. Switzerland, one point. Suisse, un point. Malta, two points. Malta, two points. Malte, deux points. Israel, three points. Israel, three points. Israel, trois points. And that's a mark for Israel. Points. Sweden, four points. Suède, quatre points. Croatia, five points. Croatia, five points. Croatia, cinq points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. United Kingdom, seven points. United Kingdom, seven points. Royaume-Uni, sept points. Norway, eight points. Norway, eight points. Norvège, huit points. Italy, ten points. Italy, ten points. Italy, dix points. And France, twelve points. France, twelve points. France, douze well, points. still wide open, and as you can see. The United Kingdom are in the lead. Good night.
Good night, Portugal. Thank you very much. Je voudrais passer maintenant au jury français à Paris. Bonsoir, Paris. Vos votes, s'il vous plaît. Bonsoir, Miss Street. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Street. Voici les résultats du vote du jury français. Israël, un point. Israël, un point. Israël, one point. Malte, deux points. Malte, deux points. Malte, two points. Autriche, trois points. Autriche, trois points. Austria, three points. Italie, cinq points. Italy... Euh, pardon, pardon. Bosnie-Herzégovine, quatre points. Bosnie-Herzégovine, quatre points. Bosnie-Herzégovine, four points. Italie, cinq points. Italy, cinq points. Italy, five points. Royaume-Uni, six points. Royaume-Uni, six the points. Given us six United marks. Kingdom, six points. Grèce, sept points. Grèce, sept points. Greece, seven points. Portugal, huit points. Portugal, huit points. Portugal, eight points. Irlande. Irlande, 10 points. Ireland, 10 points. Et enfin, la Suisse, 12 points. Et la Suisse, 12 points. Switzerland, 12 points. Voici pour les résultats du vote du jury français. Well, there's no Bonne clear runaway winner this year, I can tell you. Bonsoir et merci, well, the United Paris. Kingdom are in a very strong position. Now, we can still see that in the lead is the United Kingdom with 77 points, but we'll go straight away to the jury in Gothenburg in Sweden. Good evening, Gothenburg. May we have your votes, please? Hello, Mr. And good evening, Fionola. Here is Gothenburg and the results of the Swedish year. Denmark, one point. Denmark, one point. Some sardonic cheers there from the Danes, but they got their one point Portugal, from Sweden. Two points. Portugal, two points. Portugal, two points. Slovenia, three points. Slovenia, three points. Slovenia, three points. Malta, four points. Malta, four points. Malta, four points. Netherlands, five points. Netherlands, five points. Pays-Bas, cinq points. Switzerland, six points. Switzerland, six points. Suisse, six points. Iceland, seven points. Iceland, seven points. Iceland, sept points. France, eight points. France, eight points. France, huit points. United Kingdom, ten points. United Kingdom, Good ten marks points. again for the United Royal Kingdom Mini, and for Sonia. Points. And Ireland. It's building up to a tremendous climax. That's of course the, the Irish entry, the Irish team. There's Sonia from the United Kingdom, backing singers, composers. Thank you, Gothenburg, and goodbye. In the lead, it's going to be a bit of a nail biter this year. I feel it in my water. Points. Followed not too far behind by Ireland with Four 83 points. Four points in the lead over Ireland. And what I think we'll do now is go straight next, away to the Irish 76. jury, which is in Dublin. Raglan Marshin Gabalia Clea, what you will Eileen Dunn, Eamon Gure, Naheran. Dear Eileen, and we'll tell you them. Dear Smurugut Fanula, Tommy Dre, good evening. Agashamar Lamas, Tari, Yure, Naheran. Good evening, Mill Street, Dublin calling, and here are the results of the Irish jury. Iceland, one point. Iceland, one point. Iceland, un point. Malta, two points. Malta, two points. Malta, two points. Bosnia-Herzegovina, three points. Bosnia-Herzegovina, three points. Bosnia-Herzegovina, three points. Germany, four points. Germany, four points. Allemagne, four points. Norway, five points. Norway, five points. Norvège, cinq points. Austria, six points. Austria, six points. Autriche, six points. Switzerland, seven points. Switzerland, seven points. Suisse, sept points. United Kingdom, eight points. United Kingdom, eight points. Royaume-Uni, huit points. France, ten points. France, ten points. France, dix points. And the Netherlands, twelve points. And the Netherlands, twelve points. Pays-Bas, douze points. I think probably a bit too far behind to do any and damage. completes the vote of the Irish jury, Fanula Iowa. They're the Netherlands team, of course. 
I think we'll take a look at the leaderboard now and see just how our countries are doing, just to get an idea of how things are going at the moment. And the United Kingdom That's is still in the lead. lead. 12 points, points is a Sonia good singing. lead. 83 points Ireland in second place, joint second place with Switzerland. Just could happen for again, Sonia and the United Kingdom. Norway, it's been 12 years since we've won. Still extremely close. So we'll go straight away to the jury in Luxembourg. Je voudrais passer maintenant à Luxembourg. Bonsoir Luxembourg. Puis-je avoir vos votes, s'il vous plaît? Bonsoir, Ministry. Ici Luxembourg avec le vote du jury luxembourgeois. Norvège, un point. Norvège, un point. Norway, one point. Finlande, deux points. Finlande, deux points. Finland, two points. Danemark, trois points. Danemark, trois points. Denmark, three points. Portugal, quatre points. Portugal, quatre points. Portugal, four points. Suède, cinq points. Suède, cinq points. Sweden, five points. France, six points. France, six points. France, six points. Irlande, sept points. Irlande, sept points. Ireland, seven points. Royaume-Uni, huit points. Another good solid vote for the United, United Kingdom, Kingdom from Luxembourg. But clearly, Italy, 10 points. Italy, 10 points. Italy, 10 points. And Suisse, 12 points. Suisse, 12 points. Switzerland, 12 points. Voilà, c'était le vote du jury luxembourgeois. Bonsoir, Miss. Thank the you, United and Kingdom a very good evening the to you. The United Kingdom there in the lead with I was the one who said I didn't think it would points. win. Now, the jury in Slovenia. Good evening, Ljubljana. May we have your votes, please? Good evening, Mill Street. This is Ljubljana calling, and here are the results of the Slovene jury. Luxembourg, one point. Hooray! Luxembourg, one Nobody point. gets no point this year. Spain, two points. Spain, two points. España, two points. Norway, three points. Norway, three points. Norvège, trois points. France, four points. France, four points. France, quatre points. Iceland, five points. Iceland, five points. Islande, cinq points. Sweden, six points. Sweden, six points. Suède, six points. Netherlands, seven points. Netherlands, seven points. Pays-Bas, sept points. Switzerland, eight points. Switzerland, eight points. Suisse, huit points. United Kingdom, ten points. United Kingdom, ten points. Royaume-Uni, dix points. And finally, Ireland, nine points. Look at that now. And <laughs> It's, it's going to be very, very close. This, of course, is the Eurovision. Good evening, Helsinki in Finland. May we have the kingdom please. in the lead, 113 Good points. Good evening, Milstead. Helsinki calling. Here are the votes for the Finnish And Switzerland jury. and then Ireland. France, one point. France, un point. France, one point. Portugal, two points. Portugal, two points. Portugal, two points. Ireland, three 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 points. Switzerland, four points. Suisse, four points. United Kingdom, five points. United Nashi Kingdom, five points. Royaume-Uni, five points. Greece, six points. Greece, six points. Uh, Grèce, six points. Sweden, seven points. Sweden, seven points. Suède, sept points. Italy, eight points. Italy, eight points. Italy, huit points. Spain, ten points. Spain, ten points. Espagne, dix points. Norway, twelve points. Norway, twelve points. Norvège, douze points. And that completes the vote from the Finnish jury. She did very Good well at the beginning, then nobody voted for it. Now they're voting for it again, but the United Kingdom well, has been scoring have steadily which is very throughout. Fluid. Countries which from are getting all 12 25 points and countries. And get maybe just three or four points in the next juries. It's all still to play for. We'll now go to Sarajevo and in so Bosnia Herzegovina. Good evening, Sarajevo. May we have your votes, please? Sarajevo, may I have your votes, please? 
Hello, Sarajevo. We are hearing you. Slovenia, one point. Slovenia, Slovenia one point. Turkey, two points. Turkey, two points. Turkey, United Kingdom, three points. United Kingdom, three points. Royaume-Uni, trois points. Malta, four points. Malta, quatre points. Denmark, five points. Denmark, cinq points. Spain, six points. Spain, six points. Espagne, six points. Norway, seven points. Norway, seven points. Norvège, sept points. Ireland, eight points. Ireland, eight points. Ireland, huit points. Netherlands, 10 points. Pays-Bas, 10 points. Austria, 12 points. And Austria, 12 points. Autriche, 12 points. Glorious answer, clear the score. But good to hear from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Thank you. Austrian singer. Pleased with himself. The Thank you, and a very good evening to you, Sarajevo. That was UK still in the lead, if only by eight points. All day, but thankfully, it came it's through enough. Yesterday. Now, we, I think, take, we'll take a look at the leaderboard, so at least I'll have a clue what's happening with all the scores. And we see that the United Kingdom is in the lead with 121 points still. That's Sonia. Behind there, about nine points behind, is Ireland, followed by Switzerland, Norway, and France. And indeed, the United Kingdom in the lead, we will go to the United Kingdom jury in London. Good evening, London. May we have your votes, please? This is Colin Berry. Hello. Good evening, Mill Street. This is BBC London calling. Here are the results of the United Kingdom jury. Portugal, one point. Portugal, one point. Portugal, un point. Iceland, two points. Iceland, two points. Iceland, deux points. Austria, three points. Austria, three points. Autriche, trois points. France, four points. France, four points. France, quatre points. Cyprus, five points. Cyprus, five points. Chypre, cinq points. Malta, six points. Malta, six points. Malte, six points. Sweden, seven points. Sweden, seven points. Suède, sept points. Croatia, eight points. Croatia, eight points. Croatie, huit points. Switzerland, ten points. Switzerland, ten points. Suisse, dix points. Ireland, perfect. And there you are. As the United Kingdom put its own throat. Alan Barry with the results. Ireland. And the UK jury. 12 points from the UK jury to Ireland. Ireland That's the Irish points. singer. And there you can see it has had the effect of putting Ireland in the lead by four Thank points of the UK. Thank you, and a very good evening to you in London. And I don't think the United Kingdom did themselves any favours there a by bit giving of Ireland foot shooting points. there. They now just put Ireland in the lead with 125 points. Straight away now to the Netherlands jury, the Dutch jury in Hilversum. Good evening. May we have your votes, please? Hello, Bill Speech. This is Hilversum, Holland. Here is the result of the Dutch jury. Germany, one point. Germany, one point. Allemagne, un point. Italy, two, two points. Italy, two points. Italy, two points. France, three points. France, three points. France, three points. United Kingdom, four points. United Kingdom, four points. We needed a few Royal more than that. Quatre points. Greece, five points. Greece, five points. Greece, five points. Norway, Six points. Norway, six points. Norvège, six points. 
Iceland, 7 points. Iceland, 7 points. Iceland, 7 points. Switzerland, 8 points. Switzerland, 8 points. Suisse, 8 points. Ireland, 7 points. That puts them 10 Ireland, points in the lead. One point, the United Kingdom was 11 points, the leads now slip back, 12 points behind Ireland. It was wrong. I said Ireland, 10 points. Ireland, Sorry, 10, Ireland 10 points, points excuse me, I got back. carried away. There's a little partiality there, you can't blame the lady, it's not easy to stand there. Ireland, 10 points, Ireland, 10 points. That's right. And after all that Irish enthusiasm, Portugal, 12 points. Portugal, 12 points. Portugal, 10 points. I'll never get over it. They've been doing this for about 300 years, and the scoring of the international juries still astounds me. <laughs> Ireland in the lead. Switzerland in the UK, UK in joint second place. The then Norway. And 35 points. And from what I can make out, the Swiss uh, entry and the United Kingdom entry are in joint second place with 125 votes. But... As we know, we still have a lot of juries to go in, including the Maltese jury. We'll now go straight away to the Croatian jury in Zagreb. Good evening, Zagreb. May we have your votes, please? Good evening, Mayor Street. Zagreb's calling. Here are the results of Croatian jury. Turkey, one point. Turkey, one point. Turkey, un point. Switzerland, two points. Switzerland, two points. Suisse, deux points. Netherlands, three points. Netherlands, three points. Peiba, trois points. Malta, four points. Malta, four points. Malta, quatre points. Iceland, five points. Iceland, five points. Iceland, cinq points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. Ireland, six points. Spain, seven points. Spain, seven points. Espagne, sept points. France, eight points. France, eight points. France, huit points. United Kingdom, ten points. United Kingdom, yeah, let's put ten the cat among points. the pigeons again. Royaume-Uni, dix points. And finally, Norway, twelve points. <laughs> Norway, twelve points. A little quiet song at the Norway, end of all that activity. And she's still there, That's still in the running. Point. Of Good evening to you. Good evening to you too, Croatia. Croatia. Now to Madrid and Spain. Good evening. May we have your votes, please? Bonsoir, Miss Street. Ici Madrid. Voici la votation du jury espagnol. Croatie, un point. Croatie, un point. Croatia, one point. Italy, deux points. Italy, deux points. Italy, two points. Suisse. Points. Suisse, trois points. Switzerland, three points. Malta, quatre points. Malta, quatre points. Malta, four points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. United Kingdom, five points. Turkey, six points. Turkey, six points. Turkey, six points. Pays-Bas, sept points. Pays-Bas, sept points. Netherlands, seven points. Grèce, huit points. Grèce, huit points. Greece, eight points. Irlande, six points. They like that here in Mill Street. Stretches it a bit. Still be caught. Portugal, douze points. Portugal, douze points. Portugal is getting a lot of high scores towards the end of the evening. The Portuguese guy. Bonsoir, Spain. Bonsoir, Spain and Portugal do have a I think we'll take a look at the leaderboard and just see how the countries are shaking up. Three more to go, up. three more countries Ireland to vote. With a huge lead of 11 points. And I say huge... This was a very short lead a while back. I say huge because, of course, one point at this stage can make all the difference. And there we see Niamh Kavanagh sitting with uh, the Irish delegation. In second place, wins, the, the United Kingdom with 11 points behind, well. 10 points behind that, Switzerland, then Norway, and then France.
Without further ado, we go to Cyprus and the Nicosian jury. Good evening, Nicosia. May we have your votes, please? Well, let me just remind you and remember that Malta have yet to vote, so we've got four countries to vote. Malta, one point. Malta, one point. Malta, un point. Iceland, two points. Iceland, two points. Iceland, deux points. Portugal, three points. Portugal, three points. Portugal, trois points. United Kingdom, four points. Yeah, we've, we've had a lot Kingdom, of low scores four four for points. the last three Royal or four Mimi, countries voting, and we points. need higher scores now Spain, at this stage if we're going to challenge. Five points. Spain, five points. España, cinq points. Switzerland, six points. Switzerland, six points. Suisse, six points. Ireland, seven points. Ireland, seven points. Ireland, seven points. It stretches the lead over the UK. Norway, eight points. Norway, eight points. Norvège, huit points. France, ten points. And France, ten points. France, dix points. And Greece, twelve points. Greece, twelve points. Well, Cyprus France votes for Greece. Greece votes for Cyprus. It's a story as old as time. It's the story of the and Eurovision. Israel, Norway, Malta, yet to vote. Good night, Nicosia. So a very tough battle on the hands now between two young ladies, one representing the United Kingdom, the other representing Ireland. Go to Jerusalem now, the Israeli jury, they're standing by hopefully. Good evening, Israel. May we have your votes, please? Good evening, Main Street. This is Jerusalem, and we have the results from the Israeli jury. Spain, one point. Spain, one point. España, un point. Iceland, two points. Iceland, two points. Iceland, deux points. Malta, three points. Malta, three points. Malta, trois points. Switzerland, four points. Switzerland, four points. Suisse, quatre points. Ireland, five points. Ireland, five points. Now, how many are we going to get? How many are the UK going to get from Israel? Croatia, six points. Croatia, six points. Croatia, six points. Greece, seven points. Greece, seven points. Greece, seven points. France, eight points. France, eight points. France, eight points. Sweden, ten points. Sweden, ten points. Suède, ten points. And twelve points from Jerusalem. United Kingdom. That's it. United Back Kingdom, in the running. points. <laughs> Wyomini, lose a point. This is going to give everybody an indigestion. This. Israeli jury. Good luck to the winners and shalom from Jerusalem. Shalom. Look at that now. Remember, we still have the Maltese jury to go. And the seven points in it. The last jury we'll be calling in will be the Norwegian jury, the next the jury United rather. Kingdom but remember that Ireland. we will be trying to maintain contact or, you know, get contact again with I the don't uh, think jury. anybody else can so win it at this point. So it's not all over yet, but I think maybe we'll just take a look at the leaderboard in case we don't make contact with Malta. And we see that in first position, Neve Kavanagh with 163 points for Ireland, followed very closely, just seven points in it by Sonia of the United Kingdom, behind in third place Switzerland, then Norway, and again France. Now we'll go straight away to the jury waiting for us in Oslo. Good evening, Norway. May we have your votes, please? Hello, Mill Street. This is Oslo. Here are the votes of the Norwegian jury. Spain, one point. Spain, one point. España, un point. Iceland, two points. Iceland, two points. Iceland, deux points. Switzerland, three points. Switzerland, three points. Suisse, trois points. Croatia, four points. Croatia, four points. Croatia, quatre points. Portugal, five points. Portugal, five points. Portugal, cinq points. France, six points. Points. France, six points. France, six points. Greece, seven points. Greece, seven points. Greece, seven points. United Kingdom, eight points. United Kingdom, eight points.
Just Why is it a lead? But we we'll see what they give to Ireland. The Netherlands, 10 points. The Netherlands, 10 points. Pays Bas, 10 points. And finally, who gets the 12? Yeah. I think that wraps it up. Yeah. That's it. That's the writing on the wall. She's right to look disappointed. She, she's gone so close. She's gone so close. I think that's the Prime Minister of Ireland, Albert Reynolds. Maybe my arithmetic is crazy, but I, I think Ireland have won it. Director the General of RTE there on the right of the picture. There it is. Ireland, 175. And that concludes is that a, the Norwegian That's 11 theory. points in the lead. If Malta... Thank you very much. Give us the 12. No. And give Ireland the one. No. It's a draw. It all depends on if we can get contact with the Maltese jury. They're in St. Julian's. We'd stay here all night, dear. Good evening. Good evening, Wolf Street, St. Julian's, Malta calling. I think Good they evening. did this deliberately. <laughs> this We're is the cliffhanger. Closest one for years. The other vote of the Maltese jury. Slovenia, one point. Slovenia, one point. Finland, two points. Finland, two points. Finland, deux points. The Netherlands, three points. The Netherlands, three points. Pays-Bas, trois points. Bosnia-Herzegovina, four points. Bosnia-Herzegovina, four points. Bosnia-Herzegovina, quatre points. Switzerland, Five points. Switzerland, five points. Suisse, cinq points. Greece, six points. Greece, six points. The fingernails in this crowd have been chewed Greece, to the quick. Six points. Italy, seven points. Italy, seven points. Italy, sept points. Spain, eight points. Spain, oh my eight God. points. There's Spain, only two more sets of points to go. Points. Who's going to get the ten? Luxembourg. Luxembourg. <laughs> Luxembourg. Ten points. Luxembourg. D. Point. Okay, okay. And finally, Ireland. Ah, oh, that's it. It could have gone to us. It could have gone to the UK. It went to Ireland. If the twelve points had gone to the UK, the UK would have won by one point. Noel C. Duggan, the Irish winner. Congratulations to her and to Ireland. Exactly the same result as last year. Ireland in first place, the United Kingdom in second place. And I must say, Sonia doing better than I personally thought she would. And going very, very close indeed to winning it for the United Kingdom for the first time in 12 years. But it's Neil Kavanagh. 25-year-old bank worker from Dublin. It'll probably be a bank holiday now on Monday. Certainly, Mill Street will never be the same again. Ireland with a bookie's favourite. Sonia, the first there, the first other performer to congratulate me, Canada. Now, where are they going to hold it next year? There's Albert Reynolds, Prime Minister. Thinking of this in terms of votes, of course. We're all right now. It's very sad for Sonia. I thought much, much closer than I certainly thought she'd go, but she deserved it all. She was brilliant. Her marvelous performance deserved every vote she got. And this is rather like Lansdowne Road when Jackie Charlton's Irish Army comes on. They'll be singing Molly Malone in a minute. Ireland win at home at Mill Street. And just as a matter of interest, as far as I could make out, the six lowest teams were Turkey, Luxembourg, Slovenia, Israel, Belgium and Denmark. Okay. And they may get relegated obvious. next year. I think it's fairly obvious that we have a winner. As our winning performers, Ireland, make their way to the stage, let's take a look at the trophy for which the 25 countries have been competing. 
unique sculpture in glass created by the craftsmen of Waterford Crystal. This dramatic one-off piece was designed specially for the 38th Eurovision Song Contest. The Grand Prix trophy will be presented to the writer of this year's winning song by Linda Martin. The writer, of course, being Jimmy Walsh, the performer, Neve Cavanaugh. Well, this, of course, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will, is the first time the Eurovision Song Contest has been won by a country two years in succession. Ireland have done it. It puts them up with France and Luxembourg as the most frequent winners of the Eurovision Song Contest. Backing singers are in tears. Everybody is quite beside themselves here in Mill Street. This little town of 1,500 people has just staged this Eurovision Song Contest so magnificently. Ireland were the bookies' favourites with the Irish bookies, and they lived up to that promise. The UK were a very good bet at 9 to 1, came in second again. This must be about the sixth time, maybe even more, that the UK has come second. One day will be the bride. Huge cheers. Eve Kavanagh. Will she continue to work in the bank now that she's won the Eurovision Song Contest? She goes to receive the Grand Prix. Linda Martin, who won it for Ireland last year with Why Me? We must extend our thanks to the British Academy of songwriters, BASCA, the Music Publishers Association, for all their help and cooperation, particularly the Song for Europe, picking the Song for Europe to represent the UK that did so very well for us into second place. There'll be skin and hair flying in all directions tonight here in Bell Street. Not a sober <laughs> breath drawn. <laughs> Before we hear the winning song once more, I'd like to thank all those countries who took part in this year's Eurovision. We wish you a safe journey home and hope we'll all see you again in Ireland fairly soon. Well, you will in about 12 months. Where next year? We must thank Colin Berry too and the UK jury for all their work. Stan Appel, our producer, Jimmy Moore, head of the delegation. Thank you for viewing. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been as close as I can ever remember it. to the people of Mill Street and Killarney for their hospitality that they extended to one and all during the week. She's gone green. You can understand that. And who knows? We may be seeing you all again in Ireland next year. You are good. All that was just a goodbye in Gaelic. And if you're coming visiting to Ireland, um, I probably wouldn't bother for a week or two because it'd be floating somewhere over the Atlantic on a fluffy pink cloud, about 10 miles up. Only country ever to win it, twice in succession. Neve Kavanagh, we love you and leave you with the winning song, reprising it for Ireland in your eyes, the Eurovision Song Contest winner in 1993. My feelings locked inside. I made myself an island. Try to take my heart and hide. I built you all around me, afraid of letting go. But suddenly, Never saw Your touch swept 